Hello, tank enthusiasts. Brace yourselves for an adrenaline-fueled expedition deep into the battlegrounds of armored warfare. Today, we're unveiling the battle-hardened legends, the top 10 tanks with mind-blowing kill-to-loss ratios in military history. Get ready for heart-pounding revelations that will leave you in awe. And hey, if you're hungry for more tales of military prowess, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, without further ado, let's dive into history. At number 10, we have the versatile Panzer IV, a German medium tank introduced in 1936. This tank held a pivotal role in the German army, tasked with providing vital support to infantry and engaging enemy armored vehicles. Despite being smaller than some of its heavy tank counterparts, with a length of approximately 19 feet, the Panzer IV was revered for its reliability and adaptability on the battlefield. The Panzer IV's design incorporated several key features that contributed to its effectiveness. It was armed with a 75mm Kumla K37 liters slash 24 gun, which, while not as potent as some of the larger caliber guns on heavy tanks, was still capable of dealing with a variety of threats on the battlefield. Its sloped armor design added protection against incoming rounds, enhancing its survivability. What truly sets the Panzer IV apart is its commendable kill-to-loss ratio of around 3 to 1 during World War II, with 1,758 kills and 520 losses. This success underscores its adaptability and effectiveness in various theaters of the war, making it a vital asset for the German army. At number 9, we encounter the American M4 Sherman, which made its debut in 1942 and remains one of the most recognizable tanks of World War II. Designed as a versatile medium tank, the Sherman was tasked with engaging enemy armor and providing essential support to infantry. With a length of approximately 19 feet, the Sherman was known for its reliability and adaptability. The M4 Sherman was equipped with a 75mm M3 gun, which, while not the most powerful gun on the battlefield, was sufficient for engaging enemy tanks and infantry positions. What truly set the Sherman apart was its production volume. The United States churned out Shermans in vast numbers, ensuring that they were a common sight on various fronts. Throughout the war, the Sherman achieved a commendable kill-to-loss ratio of approximately 5 to 1, amassing 8,070 kills and 1,556 losses. This remarkable feat was accomplished despite facing heavily armored adversaries such as the German Tiger and Panther tanks. At number 8, we find the revolutionary T-34, introduced in 1940 by the Soviet Union and often hailed as one of the most influential tanks in history. This medium tank was designed with a focus on superior mobility, armor and firepower. With a length of approximately 20 feet and sloped armor that ingeniously deflected enemy rounds, the T-34 revolutionized armored warfare. The T-34 was armed with a 76.2mm F-34 gun, which provided adequate firepower for its role. However, it was the T-34's innovative sloped armor design that truly set it apart. This design not only increased the tank's protection, but also made it a challenging target for enemy gunners. During World War II, the T-34 achieved a remarkable kill-to-loss ratio of around 5 to 1, with 44,900 kills and 9,000 losses. This impact on the Eastern Front was profound, as it consistently outclassed many German tanks, including the early Panzer IV and IV models. At number 7, we encounter the T-3485, an upgraded version of the earlier T-34, introduced in 1944. Armed with an 85mm gun and boasting impressive mobility, the T-3485 featured a length of approximately 20 feet. Its enhanced firepower allowed it to achieve a commendable kill-to-loss ratio of approximately 5 to 1, with 29,000 kills and 6,000 losses during the war. This tank played a crucial role in the Soviet offensive against Nazi Germany, showcasing its effectiveness on the battlefield. The T-3485's upgraded armament significantly increased its firepower, making it a formidable adversary for German tanks. Its mobility allowed it to swiftly maneuver on the battlefield outmaneuvering and engaging enemy armor effectively. The tank continued to build upon the legacy of the earlier T-34, contributing significantly to the Soviet Union's success in pushing back the Nazi forces. Its versatility and battlefield adaptability further solidified its reputation as an iconic tank in World War II history. At number 6, we encounter the Sherman Firefly. Moving forward to the later stages of World War II, a British modification of the American Sherman tank introduced in 1944. 
Armed with a potent 17-pounder gun, the Firefly emerged as a formidable adversary for German armor. Its length of approximately 20 feet, coupled with enhanced firepower, allowed it to play a crucial role in the Allied push through Western Europe. During the war, the Firefly achieved a commendable kill-to-loss ratio of around 5 to 1, with 1,700 kills and 350 losses. This success was largely attributed to its improved firepower and adaptability on the battlefield. Storming in at number 5 is the Tiger Eye, which stands as an iconic German heavy tank introduced in 1942 during the tumultuous era of World War II. Its primary mission was to provide crucial heavy armor support and engage enemy tanks at long ranges. With its imposing length of approximately 21 feet, the Tiger Eye was a formidable presence on the battlefield. What truly set the Tiger Eye apart was its formidable firepower, featuring an 88mm KOK 36 liters slash 56 gun that could devastate enemy armor. Its thick armor and distinctive sloped front provided exceptional protection against incoming enemy rounds. Perhaps one of the Tiger Eye's most significant achievements was its extraordinary kill-to-loss ratio, approximately 6 to 1, with 1,850 kills and 314 losses. This staggering ratio means that for every six enemy tanks it obliterated, it incurred only one loss in return. This remarkable feat underscores the Tiger Eye's prowess in combat, particularly on the unforgiving Eastern Front, where it faced off against waves of Soviet armor in intense battles. At number four, our journey takes us back to the early campaigns of World War II, where the German Panzer II was a versatile medium tank introduced in 1936. Designed to support infantry and engage enemy armored vehicles, the Panzer II boasted a length of approximately 18 feet. Despite being a medium tank, it achieved an outstanding kill-to-loss ratio of approximately 9 to 1, with 3,445 kills and 377 losses. During these early stages of the war, its adaptability and effectiveness in diverse combat scenarios solidified its reputation as a formidable tank. At number 3, we find the Centurion tank, introduced by the British Army in 1945 as a main battle tank capable of engaging enemy armor and supporting infantry. Measuring approximately 25 feet in length, the Centurion stood out for its adaptability and reliability on the battlefield. Throughout its service, the Centurion achieved a commendable kill-to-loss ratio of approximately 10 to 1, with 1,200 kills and 120 losses. Its success in various conflicts, including the Korean War and the Suez Crisis, showcased its versatility and durability in diverse combat scenarios. And number two, as we enter the later stages of World War II on the Eastern Front, we encounter the Soviet S-2, introduced in 1943 as a heavy tank, armed with a potent 122mm gun. Its primary mission was to engage enemy tanks and fortifications. With a length of approximately 30 feet, the IS-2 boasted formidable firepower and armor. During this critical period of the war, the IS-2 achieved a remarkable kill-to-loss ratio of around 10 to 1, with 3,854 kills and 361 losses. It played a vital role in the Soviet offensive against Nazi Germany, contributing significantly to the liberation of Eastern Europe and the eventual capture of Berlin. Finally, claiming the top spot is the M1 Abrams, a pinnacle of American tank engineering that made its debut in 1980. Versatile and adaptable, the M1 Abrams can excel in various roles from anti-tank warfare to infantry support. This technological marvel stretches approximately 32 feet in length, demonstrating the evolution of tank design over the years. The M1 Abrams's prowess was most vividly demonstrated during the Gulf War in 1991 when it faced off against Iretti tanks. It achieved an astonishing kill-to-loss ratio of 184 to 1, with 9 kills and 0 losses, during this conflict. This jaw-dropping ratio highlights the tank's exceptional firepower and durability, cementing its status as one of the most powerful and effective tanks in the world. Our journey through the top 10 tanks with the best kill-to-loss ratios in history has unveiled a captivating tapestry of armored warfare. These formidable machines are more than just steel giants. They are the embodiment of human ingenuity, resilience, and courage. From the adaptable Panzer IV to the iconic American M4 Sherman, the revolutionary T-34 and its upgraded counterpart, the T-34 85ths, each tank has etched its name in the annals of military history. They've shown us that success on the battlefield isn't solely determined by size or firepower, 
but by adaptability, innovation, and the unwavering spirit of those who operated them. These tanks, with their commendable kill-to-loss ratios, are a testament to the dedication and sacrifice of the men and women who served in them. They remind us that even in the face of adversity, human determination and the relentless pursuit of excellence prevail. Before we wrap up, I'd like to ask you, our valued audience, to engage with us. If you've enjoyed this journey through tank history as much as we have, please take a moment to show your support. Hit that like button if you found this video insightful. Subscribe to our channel for more fascinating explorations of military history. And don't forget to leave a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts, insights, and suggestions for future topics.